going on, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy, uh, Hunter Baxter. Um, I am currently on the way to my gym. Today is my birthday. It's going to be a great lift. Um, planning to do some upper body with some heavy weighted chin ups, bench press, just try and get a huge pump in, maybe do some ninja obstacles. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, it kind of depends on what's set up, but currently driving my sister's car because mine is in the shop and there's just so many little intricate things with her car and all these little random noises that is kind of throwing me off but it's pretty funny um, but feeling super blessed today um, I was actually sick yesterday before my birthday and I was really upset because I was like dude I might be sick two years in a row on my birthday and uh, I was not happy about it but um, happy I'm feeling way better today and uh, ready to get after it so um, it's gonna be a good lift gonna get after it as much as I can kind of enjoy it and uh, try out some of the, the new equipment I got for for, for Christmas um, with the new microphone and a um, tripod as well so stay tuned it's gonna be lit and uh, thanks for hanging out today let's go get after it Alrighty. We got some warm up sets real quick. We're almost seventy percent for five, but we're planning to go all the way up to ninety ninety percent. I think for three reps is the the plan today. So we're supersetting bench with weighted chin ups, which is always a really good pump and a good way to get ready for ninja stuff because you can already simulate some strength moves. So hopefully this goes well. Either way, it's gonna be a good workout. Okay. The weight is moving today. Okay. Now we got weighted chin ups. I always hate getting into this thing because it feels like putting on like a weighted diaper. It's kind of funny. It's the best way I can describe it. But start with 90 for three reps and then go from there. See how we feel. I like to get back up to 100, but that might. <clears throat> Not take some time. Maybe we'll move up to 100 today. I was not expecting that. It feels pretty good. It's a good super set. All right, baby. Set number two. I'm not going to film every set, but I'll probably do this one and then maybe the last one. When we get up to 90%, we'll probably be good. But I added 10 pounds on the weighted chin ups, too, which if I can get 100 for. Two, let's see. 12 more reps be pretty solid I'm trying to get back up to like I was hitting like 110 at one point but to only be kind of 20 pounds behind that now 10 pounds behind that it's kind of a big deal for me so we'll see but bench feels good I haven't been able to bench in like shoot since September so I'm happy this feels good Too solid. Get straight into it. We got a hundred pounds on the line now. Get that freaking ninja strength back, baby. Who be doing this? You be doing this, man. Who? Put my loaded diaper back on. Solid. Oh, I need my music though. It's too quiet. <laughs> okay, I'm 
definitely feeling it right now. I feel the past. How many sets have we done now? Four sets, so this is set five. The chin-ups are the worst part right now. Also, if you're wondering, this isn't like a wrap or anything. I uh, ripped on the inside of my hand on New Year's Eve, uh, doing some ninja obstacles, like terrible rip. It's in the worst spot in my opinion, because it's right on a crack. So it keeps ripping back open, it's so annoying. But we got three reps, this is 90%. My, uh, I don't know what my bench max is at the moment. It was up there, but I have to do it again. Uh, I'm basically going off of 225 right now. Um, maybe I will start that this upcoming week or that week afterwards I'll do some more max stuff just, just so I can have exact numbers. I know what my squat max is, but I need to do deadlift, chin up, this, and maybe shoulder press would probably be a good idea. But, okay, three reps, let's get it. Okay. I'm gonna hit this. Come on. Okay. Okay, I'd say that was a solid good three reps right there. Okay, last set of chin ups. Whew. Heart rate is definitely up there right now, which is good. Next section. It's gonna be brutal though. Killed me last time I did this workout, but be good. We'll start getting a huge pump, which is what I want. Unload the diaper. <laughs> okay. We're going. Seated cable rows now and dumbbell incline and also the pump cover is coming off. About to get even more swole now. I'm not gonna wait till afterwards. I wanna look in the mirror and look freaking jacked, you know? It's a good confidence boost. Always remember that. I always say, going to the gym should give you a confidence boost. You're getting after a while, other people aren't. And I wanna look good, you know? But for me, it's more about the strength gains for ninja stuff. I just wanna be an overround, overall, that's the word I'm looking for, athlete. So I train a lot different than other ninjas, I would say. I just wanna be like really explosive, you know, can be able to do a lot of things other than ninja, like play flag football, basketball, like people walk in the gym and like, dude, that guy's just a pure athlete. That's my goal. That's what I love being and just overall health. So we'll see, but trying to get strong for ninja stuff too at the same time. So it's kind of a mix of everything that I do, which is what I want to show on this channel. <sighs> be a good representation of the fitness community and stuff because one of the best things I ever did was really bring like weight to Ninja because beforehand, man, the injury rate at this gym was just crazy. Once I started implementing a bunch of strength and conditioning stuff here, injury rate went <laughs> And now that I left, it seems like everybody gets hurt. It's kind of crazy, including myself, <laughs> but yeah. Definitely miss this place. Definitely miss it. All right, eight reps of incline. I always like to have my incline a little bit lower too because a lot of the time I feel like it goes straight to my shoulder, but I always just try and match the, the incline based on kind of what I look at like on an actual incline machine or an actual bench. But I always do dumbbell because 
the barbell and kind of just destroys my shoulders. Uh, just not my thing. I'll flat bench all day, but no thanks to incline. Ugh, got eight. Yeah, third set. <laughs> I don't know, I have to do two more, and I'm already very pumped. What do you pull? Um, is it tempo or anything? No, not for these, because uh, oh, I did uh, bench and weighted chin-ups already. So this is just to get a nice pump. Are you doing like a super set? Yeah. I'm talking to Lolo on the other end of the screen. <laughs> and you know what's super cool about these? So if I wanted to have another microphone, I could give you that one even though that's like the receiver. And you could basically use that one as a microphone too, so it's basically oh. two in one. Oh. Pretty lit. So if he did it with honor or something? Yeah. Oh, you get to. Oh, that would it's be. It's going to be perfect. And she's just there? Oh. That's Lolo. <laughs> she's the best. That's my, my other little sister. Your sister. My. Biggest supporter in the gym. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, last set. Oh, yeah. And I am pumped. And I still have two more exercises to go. <laughs> but anything to get swole. Nice. Could have probably went heavier on that last set. That's okay. One more set of incline, but now it's in stable position, of course. I know, after the last like four videos. Last set. Done. Woo! All right. Gotta show you lap pull down. Twelve, and then chest by. We're done. We're done.
Okay, workout's done. Turned out to be a pretty damn good lift. I really enjoyed it. Um, overall, pump-wise, I'd give it maybe a 6 out of 10. I think it was maybe more because I was focused on trying to do uh, a lot with the camera for the first time and the microphone and making sure everything worked. I just got to get better at managing that. But I think the plan is, is to kind of, you know, film like two to three sets like really my first and maybe my last or kind of like a middle ground in between two depending on what the workout is and then go from there but I thought everything went pretty well today um, I was happy to get the microphone work because you can call me dumb but I couldn't figure it out for the life of me for a minute which is really funny but um, you know for me this channel is really going to be about like a mixture of stuff where obviously I'm going to have like a lot of workouts um filmed but also like a lot of ninja content which i think will be really cool because i can show like an environment where you see like a team training aspect like i love to walk around with my phone and video but also have like my microphone on as well as somebody else so that way you can really see what it looks like uh to really get after ninja warrior training if you've never seen it before um and obviously i gotta get more comfortable with the microphone like um, I'm very used to filming my sets because I love looking at what I can get better at with my form, obviously. But when it comes to like talking in between sets, it's so interesting, especially when other people are there. Um, but, you know, a lot of it is just me kind of realizing everyone's doing their own thing and I'm not like the center of attention and I just kind of want to do this for me, I guess. And frankly, like, I really miss coaching and... To me, this is kind of a way where I can uh, reach out to y'all and uh, be a coach in some some form of you see exactly how I train and what I'm looking for when I'm lifting and how intentional I am with my lifts rather than just trying to get something done. I try and, you know, figure out what the best weight is or what I could I have done better in that set or, you know, if something's not feeling right, what can I do to tweak it to... Um, make it even more efficient for me so um everything's a work in progress but i'm doing this because frankly i want to force myself to get out of my comfort zone and literally everybody is telling me i should do this for the longest time and frankly i just want to give it a shot so if you made it to the end of this video man i really appreciate all of you um i know there's some hiccups in between especially with the freaking tripod i think one of the videos ends up being like this <laughs> but um other than that it was really fun i really enjoyed it and obviously i'm going to get more comfortable so expect the content to get better um as as with everything it just comes with time and i'm willing to make the process uh, as best as i can possible even better and so on and so forth to just bring out better content and make videos out of things and shorts and you know just kind of be a, a homie for you guys in the gym like i just want to be able to inspire people and really get after it and try i'm just a normal dude um when it comes to training like i'm just very intentional with it it's just one of my big hobbies so um if you like this video give it a like and just hit the subscribe button if you want to see more i appreciate every single one of y'all and uh, one of my favorite sayings to do, especially when I do Twitch content, is pray for your families, pray for your homies, pray for everyone, because frankly, everybody needs it in this world and everybody's hurting. So reach out to somebody, tell them you love them too. And uh, whenever you see this video, hope you have a great rest of your day, night, wherever you're at. And uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Deuces.